Welcome back to Child Science Pod. It's your host, Rhett. I got a video today from O'Shea Duke Jackson. They had a good one on a black woman that lives in Japan and is upset that black men that go travel to Japan friend zone her and complains that, oh, black men mistreat black women at such a rate, but when they go to Japan, they, they, you know, they, they treat them like delicate flowers. Shit, I wonder why. <laughs> Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to that ciao. It's ciao time. Recently, I came across this TikTok by a lady by the name of Morgan McCain, a very beautiful lady who seems to be extremely talented. And of course, with that great personality and that zeal, it has taken her to a country like Japan. And she seems to love it, whatever she's doing there. However, there has been some problems in dealing with people from Japan, notably Japanese. Really, Doshe, you're gonna put a just Japanese guy with the sword? <laughs> Fuck it, Doshe. Men and foreign men. And this is what she had to say. As a black woman living in Tokyo, I definitely need to speak on this. I 100% agree that I feel like for us, we get more creepy interactions than people that are like way lighter than us. I've had an Uber Eats delivery guy screenshot my um, address and keep it with him. And then one day he followed me home and showed me the address and was like, this is you, right? This is you, uh-huh. That's pretty bad. I had a guy follow me onto a train car. I switched two different train cars and he followed me on each one, stood over me and then watched as I got on Instagram and got on Instagram and followed me and then sat down next to me and said, hey, I got your Instagram and I followed you. But the crazy part about it is all of Don't do that shit, Ben. Like, what the fuck? All of my crazy experiences where I'm either followed or harassed or whatever has all been by foreigners. Not guys from America, but guys from different places. I feel like the Japanese men just see me as... And this is why we talk about passports, sis, and why it's not the same thing as men going overseas. Women are fetishized differently than men are. And men, when we're fetishized, we're still fetishized towards a family. Women are fetishized towards just sex. You know, like most foreign men, oh yeah, are probably going to see you as, you know, different, exotic, of course. But they don't see exotic and different women like that as usual viable mates most of the time in those countries. So it's quite the opposite of how women view foreign men. They view us as viable options. You know, so when they go after men, they want families. They're going towards relationships where when they go towards women, it's just a clap them cheeks. It's exotic and they just stare at me like this from afar. But the foreign men, oh, they be bold. So that was foreign men. You can kind of hear that she said, I don't get these weird situations from black men from America. That's only happening with guys that are foreigners and sometimes Japanese men. But then, of course, she started to deal with people who are from the African-American community in America. And as a woman that lives in Japan who might feel a little bit out of place dating a Japanese man, it seems like she would love to have the opportunity to date an African-American man. And that See, that's weird. Like, that would be a weird thing for me to catch, even just commentate, commentate on, that she went to Japan still looking for black men to date. That's a hard pill to, like, sell in a sense like why would these men traveling to this country want to marry or date you when you are the reminder of why they're in this country in the first place right that's what she would like to do she would like to date somebody from her community that she can understand she's pretty she's good looking and she's full of zeal pretty and good looking are pretty much the same thing O'Shea come on now <laughs> but when she comes across black men from the diaspora or from America, she has this to say about it. Something that has greatly disappointed me since I've been living here is the amount of that I've seen in Tokyo. And sorry to say, but it's mainly from black men from America. The way that I have to watch y'all treat me and my fellow black sisters like shit, but treat the Japanese women all delicately like they're special flowers is insane. And there's a reason. There's a reason. Do you not think these men have always dealt with m women of your kind for a very long time? And how they had to deal with you guys was quite different. 
and how you guys were quite different to where they had to treat you a certain way. Where women in these countries are just so nice and feminine, they never had to put those guards up. They never had to do these things. So, of course, they're going to be nicer. It's just how it is. The amount of times that I've met black men from America who give people the N-word here is crazy. I re I'm not sure what she means when she gives people the N-word. I recently went to a club and this black guy was asking me how my experience is here dating and I was telling him and then he was like, well, I'm in heaven here because, you know, they like fetishize us. So they be worshiping us and doing whatever they want. So I'm in heaven. What? None? Or the black men that'll be talking to me and then when we get done, they're like, I enjoyed the conversation. You're so cool. I love black women. I worship black women. I wish there was more in Tokyo. And then we'll go over to their Japanese girlfriend and then talk shit about us. Well, it's probably because they just want to be surrounded more with people of that, you know, of the same culture. Most people want to surround themselves with the same people of creed. So. Black American men get over here the be on 10. Y'all need to pipe down because they do not give a about y'all. Now this video has caused a lot of ruckus. And she said she has been very disappointed. We in fact had to bleep out that C word. But basically she is upset that African American men are dating women from Japan in japan and when they see other women there they are pretty much putting her in the friend zone and then they are like oh sis i love black women i love this i love that but basically all of the black women out there are being kept into sister mode as black men explore their opportunities with japanese women and she doesn't understand why but i can tell you why that is it's the same thing that I saw happening in Poland. You see, a lot of times in Poland, and this was a lot of Africans, so I would just use a situation that is very similar. When black men were in Poland, they became exotic. Black women became exotic also, but they became exotic almost for another reason. Exactly. And that reason tend to be curiosity, if you know what I mean. In other words, like, oh, well, uh, as a Polish guy or a European guy, I've never been with a black woman before. So a lot of women complain about that. But a lot and the other thing is, like I said, the reputation of Western women is not that great. And the reputation of Western men is actually pretty decent still. So, of course, they're going to get treated differently. A lot of the men that were being curious, a lot of women were looking at getting into full blown relationships with them. So those men who are coming from Africa or even from America that happen to be black, they were getting the same sort of femininity or long-term relationships from Polish women mm -hmm. that, you know, maybe Polish men would be getting. Whereas the black women, when they were interacting with Polish men, were not getting that same respect. It seemed that to them, according to the ones I talked to, they were a class lower and it, it appeared that maybe the Polish guys would have a hard time taking them home and explaining to their parents that they selected a black woman over their fellow Polish women because mm. that would be a threat to the culture. While some of the Polish women kind of felt that they would have a better opportunity with dating foreigners and they could have more of an opportunity to have some more freedom in the relationship. Who has more value now? Who's the prize now when you look at how this is turning out? Is it the women or the men? If other countries are accepting the men, but other countries are not accepting the women, who's truly the prize? Sure. So now she mentioned that these black men are saying that they're exotic and these women are doing exactly what they want them to do. And she says that, well, that is sell outery. And she says like the Japanese women are really, um, you know, feminine, really humble and all of that. Um, and basically these Japanese women are very nice. Well, that's what happens when you're competition. Yep. Now, again, if you're a woman and you have, let's say the demeanor that she has and some of the Japanese women tend to be a little bit more submissive or they tend to be a little bit more um, giving, then what they're going to say is, well, how can you compete with the Japanese woman? And again, for somebody who's pro-black like me, that is my only option is the black woman, right? But you have black men out there who don't see it from that perspective. Yes. A lot of black men see it from the perspective of competition. So what does that mean? That means if the Japanese woman is a better opportunity for them over the beautiful black woman like her, 
then what are they going to do? They're going to go with the Japanese woman because they felt like, well, my time is limited here. I mean, why cheat yourself if there's a better option right there? Like, I wouldn't want to, you know, cut my legs from under me in a sense to settle for someone when there's plenty of better options, right? This is just, this is exactly what women do. And now men are exercising the same options. Hey. I have an opportunity here, just like women have the opportunity in America. In America, women have an advantage. Yep. But now in these places, black men have the advantage. So when you have the advantage, what do you do? You, you, you know, we, we, this is mostly on black community and stuff. But this what he's his advantage for black men is the same advantage for most men, all men of different creed. You know, you have this advantage that women of other creed don't have when they go to these countries they're not seen the same way as we are use it so instead of understanding why do these men don't want to deal with you or why they want to deal with the japanese women what you should probably try to do is be competitive yes. instead of complaining about the mm -hmm. fact that these men want to deal with these women for an example when women say i don't want to i mean this is exactly most of the content that i cover when it when we cover women talking shit about passport bros this is it this is the exact shit. Deal with God. They, they'd rather complain, talk shit on us, talk shit on the women, on the foreign women, but never take any type of accountability of why men are leaving in the first place. Guys, because they are broke or they don't have anything, we understand that, right? And we understand that the reason why she doesn't want to deal with me is number one, I'm gonna be our type, I'm overweight, I don't have money, or I just don't have any game. So there are certain things that we need to work on. And men understand that inherently. Yes, we, we do. Inherently understand it is it's almost like autonomic, right? But when women have these issues where men have the ability to choose and women are dating them and women are coming after them and they are not being chosen, it's because of something else. When women have their preferences and black men have their preferences too. And I'm not trying to say that this is a right thing that these black men are doing, but she even said the black man told her, listen, I'm in heaven. These women are treating me like X, Y, and Z. Maybe I don't need to have a $10,000 a month to date a Japanese lady. Maybe I don't need to have a nice car or maybe I don't need to have all of this. So if that's the case, you need to be able to see what it is that what these women are doing and what you can do to match their energy. Now she's a very attractive lady, but she does kind of have that sort of aggression and that aggression for some brothers is gonna be like, mm, Exactly. I mean, even when I saw, like, when he was like speaking well about her, and then just seeing her hand gestures and attitude, it's just like I already knew what the type of woman she was gonna be. Maybe in the states I might put up with that, but over here I don't have to put up with that. Exactly. And I don't even want to even hear that. Maybe in the states you might deal with someone like that, an attitude like that, a woman like that, but in other countries you don't have to. You don't have to and give you the opportunity to go ahead and try to go further with it because it's just a turnoff. And again, like a lot of ladies out there who are willing to do cooking clean and stuff like that and do things like that, you're not gonna be able to beat them in those countries. If you are an African-American woman and you go to Poland and you're dealing with Polish women, and I can just tell you from the outside looking in, most sisters will have a hard time trying to get a black man to be faithful to them in Poland or Germany or any of those places like that in Europe it's just not gonna be easy for you to do so because those women over there are gonna be, you know, very nice. Sometimes they're perfect, but they're gonna be willing to, to clean, to cook, to do nice things. Whereas you might not wanna do that, or you might have a little bit more issue with that, or you might be a little bit more aggressive and whatever the case may yield. But when these guys have seen a different alternative to what they've grown up in and they've been in Japan. Exactly what we talk about, man. The alternative of what you've grown up with. Most men don't see this. This is why Passport Bro content is blowing up. This is why Passport con Bro content, I focus on it a lot, is to show men there's so much more out there. You don't have to deal with these attitudes, these demands that a lot of these Western women have. You don't have to. Is it easy? No, because you have to work on yourself. You have to work on your body, work on your mind, work on your money so you can travel and or at least save money, you know, or find a remote type job. 
It's not easy. We're not saying this shit's easy. None of us ever said this shit was easy. It's probably one of the harder things to do. You're leaving your own country to go live in another country. To most people, that is a pretty stark difference in their life. And they may not be willing to do it right away. But at least they see the options out there. And they might be willing to work towards it. And I hope you guys are. Japan and those other places, then yeah, they're going to take that chance to do what is they're doing? And a lot of times women don't like it, but that's just the reality. Mm -hmm. The same thing happens in China or in the Philippines or in Brazil. Guys have different opportunities, so they're gonna take an opportunity because maybe in America they wouldn't have this opportunity. Correct. Same thing happens in Kenya or in Uganda or in Rwanda or Ethiopia. Yeah, for women it's easy. Just download Instagram. You got you got men from all over the world to hit you up. From anywhere in walks of life, from dusties to millionaires. It will probably hit you up depending how good you look. It's not like that for men. We actually have to travel to these places and look for women. <clears throat> Whenever opportunity to choose, they're going to choose. And you don't have to like it, but that's what's called having a competitive advantage. And they have it right now. They're going to do it. And the only way to beat somebody with a competitive advantage is to develop your own competitive advantage. And I'm here to tell you, and even though I love to see black women and black men together, um, hey, some black men feel like they don't owe you anything. They, they don't, don't owe you a date, just like you don't owe them a date. But the problem is that they can exercise that. That becomes a big problem. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another. That was some damn good chow. You know, shout outs to O'Shea. I know some of you guys might not like him, but it's okay. You, you guys might not like a lot of the content creators I put on here and there, but it's for you to pick and choose to watch who you guys want. And yeah, Passport Sis, Passport Bros. There's a reason why Passport Brothers are sought after in other countries. This is a reason because foreign, like American men are seen as nicer, more compliant men than most other foreign men. So, but it's the opposite of Western women. Western women are seen as the most disagreeable women out there. So when they go to these other countries, why would men want to deal with that? Hmm? Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, catch you guys next time. Ciao.